need a day. And in a year, we'll be having almost uh, 240 million. So with just 240 million, we can do a lot of programs for these drug offenders. And most of them are not drug users. Most of them inside the drugs abusers. And there's a difference between users and abusers. The users are addicted to, to drugs, whereas the abusers are those, maybe uh, they, they, they are not the frequent uh, drug users, but they, they will take drugs on and off, and then uh, they abuse it, because they will take a large amount of drugs at that particular time when they were depressed, or when they were down, or whatever happened to them. And then that would be the most dangerous uh, people because uh, when they have taken a uh, drug in that uh, abusive manners, uh, they would normally do things uh, that uh, out of their controls. Uh, they would do things uh, where we have seen it, uh, in the last uh, few years where uh, hideous murders uh, were, were committed because some of them had consumed drugs uh, in that abusive manner. So if you look at that, uh, we can we can use that money that we can save uh, for uh, a lot of uh, treatments for them, and also probably to build up the rehabilitation center uh, to rehabilitate them. While at the same time, we also have to deal with our young uh, drug offenders uh, who we do not want to see them going into prison and to mix with the adult offenders, because in most cases, you all know that when they come out from prison, they will be despised, they will be looked down, not only by their family,